August 21st, 2020. Guys, in last night's video, um, we were talking about the effect, and we mentioned it this morning, of these two storms uh, being in the Gulf at the same time, and how would they possibly affect each other. And now Noah's brought it up, and so let's talk about it a moment. Uh, it's called the Fujihara effect, and it's named after a meteorologist that uh, described the event, I think, in, in the 1920s. But these two storms you're seeing is Typhoon Pharma and Malor. Now, Super Typhoon on the right, and Malor is a weaker storm on the left. And what happens is these storms get within 800 miles of each other. They can start dancing around a center outside of either one of them, and because they're rotating at the same point. And this Fujihara effect, guys, is exactly what happens between our sun and Jupiter. It's binary twin, and these would become binary systems. The larger will have more effect on the smaller. There's a, a few other things that happen. What if, and if they get close enough, the center that would be, say, between these two storms here in the clear would affect them both. They could both be going in the same direction or similar directions, but they will start rotating around the center right there. And that will throw off all the spaghetti models. It will intensify the wind speeds within the storms. And then you kind of got a spinning effect, a double lick. But again, this was Typhoon Farmer and Malor in the Philippine Sea on October 6, 2009, 11 years ago. What does that mean? That means we were in, grand, we were in solar minimum, not as low as this one, but we were in the low end of the last solar cycle before 24, a cycle 24 kicked in. Now, two years before that, 2007 is the beginning the decline in the last, uh, in solar cycle 23, going into that dip. This occurred in, uh, again, 2007. You've got uh, two tropical systems. This is BOFA and SAOME. Notice the time stamps here, 700Z, the storm's at 50 knot, 5 knots. 700Z, this storm's up here at 35 knots. And as they were both moving, they started spinning around the midpoint. This is actually the tracking information. This is your degree in latitude and degree in longitude here. So that's what this Fujihara effect is. And let me uh, read something, some of the uh, information about the different events that can occur when this event happens. And these are just interesting facts about uh, the very basics of it. The Fujihara effect, sometimes referred to as the uh, Fujiwara effect, is uh, interaction or binary interaction. That's the key word when we're talking about the Sun and Jupiter. They're binary twins. Most people don't realize that. And the ancients called Jupiter Nibiru. And if you understand how these, sun, these merge, you can understand my videos talking about... Uh, in ancient, ancient times, times much older than uh, our written history, that this happened in our universe, and that destroyer came in closer, and the models that they did on supercomputers, guys, show that Jupiter and Saturn were pulled in closer, and more than likely were the, between Mars and Jupiter was a planet that is now an asteroid belt. But it came in and it created havoc, possibly where our moon came from. And th that's what this is, a binary interaction between two storms. Now, in the Gulf, it hasn't happened since 1959. At that time, we didn't have satellites where we could see with the clarity and have the buoys out and radar and everything else, it, the technology that we have now. So it would be interesting, but it's good to know what these effects can be. It's, uh, again... Binary interaction, it's a phenomenon that occurs when two nearby cyclonic vortices orbit each other and close the distance between the circulations of their corresponding low-pressure areas. Not only will they spin around each other, and if one storm is much smaller than the other, it will. the smaller storm will actually start spinning all the way around the larger storms until they merge. What that, That's going to throw off any spaghetti models and things like that. It says it's named after Sakuhei Fujihara, the Japanese meteorologist who initially described the effect. 
binary, binary interaction of smaller circulations can cause the development of a larger cyclone or cause two cyclones to merge into one. Extratropical cyclones, which are that can occur over land over the Great Lakes and up in the northern Atlantic when they get out in where they're, they're not tropical anymore, but they can engage in binary interaction within 1,200 miles of each other. But tropical cyclones, again, think of hurricanes. They can typically interact within 1,400 kilometers or 870 miles. The Gulf is not that wide. Now, there's different dates uh, according to the models now. They're like 22 hours between the time they make landfall, but they both could be Category 1s inside a much closer space than 870 miles. Let's read a little more about this. Now, it says tropical cyclones can form when smaller circulations within the intertropical convergent zone merge, but what we're talking about the effect of the Fujihara is often mentioned in relation to the motion of tropical cyclones. Although the final merging of the two storms is uncommon, the effect becomes noticeable when they approach 870 miles of each other. Rotation rates within binary pairs accelerate when tropical cyclones close within 400 miles of each other. Mergers of the two systems or shearing out of one of the pair become realized when they are within 300 kilometers or 190 miles of each other. They can sense that. Now, this is the current information coming out at the last hurricane update, guys, at 5 p.m. That would be 12 minutes ago. You're seeing the uh, tropical system move just to maybe skating Santa Domingo, uh, Santa Domingo uh, the Dominican Republic, in that area. Then if the eye stays just offshore, according to the center of this model, that will uh, stop the inhibition of tearing a lot, all of the storm apart as it crosses the islands. But it's 2 p.m. Tuesday, Hurricane Category 1, more than likely, here. 2 p.m. Wednesday, at the mouth of the Mississippi River. So let's just write these two times, 2 p.m. Tuesday, 2 p.m. Wednesday. Let's look at where this, the other storm is. Now, this is the tropical cyclone number 14 that's in the Caribbean. Looks like it may skate uh, the tip of the Yucatan, become a Category 1 hurricane at 2 p.m. Monday. Remember that time? And then 2 p.m. Tuesday be a tropical storm simply because half the storm will be ashore at that time. So we have one storm here directly south of central Louisiana. South, just if you went dead south from central Louisiana coastline, 2 p.m. Monday here. 2 a.m. Monday here. These storms will definitely be within all three, the 180 miles, the 400 mile zones for interaction at the same time. Now, let's look at the timing of these two and actually see how close they get, depending on the speed and but at, at the current projection of both of these cones. Critical, I think the closest time will be between 2 p.m. Monday and 2 p.m. Tuesday. The reason I say that, again, 2 a.m. Monday, this system is setting south of Louisiana. This system is still north of Cuba. 2 p.m. Tuesday, it's a hurricane here. 2 p.m. Tuesday, the first uh, trop this tropical uh, depression 14 is about to come ashore in Louisiana. So, guys, you can figure what is that probably... Um, 300 miles, 250 to 300 miles, somewhere right in there, the closest approach. And that's what they were talking about that. We will see. But um, starting at 800 miles, so we may see some interaction even into Sunday. But again, as far as being in the Gulf at the same time, they are not, uh, in other words, one is slightly behind it. The larger storm uh, is slightly behind it by um, 24 hours or so. But they will both be in the Gulf at the same time. And it's going to be interesting to see. It's a new science with the technology we have now and in our lifespans. Uh, so uh, just uh, it, it's not only going to be interesting, but it could become very dangerous. The satellite images will be one for the record if they start in, uh, interacting with each other. And you know that uh, we're going to keep up with it here. It's a heads up. Be safe.